Hey everyone, this is VJ, and today I'm going to show you my overclocking uh, a guide uh, for my car that is GTX 750 Ti. If you have GTX 750 Ti, you can refer this uh, as a guide, of, you can say, uh, or you can say this is the settings what I use for my graphic card. As you can see, I already overclocked my card. If you go for the GPU Z application, my default clock is uh, 1020, which has been boosted uh, to, uh, 1220, that is 200 on the memory or 200 on the core and the memory also uh, on the 200 side uh, that is the 1350 overclock to 1550 it's 200 on the memory as well here and the boost clock here as you can see uh, 1085 is a reference and overclock to 1285 and uh, if you go for the utilities what I use uh, I use the MSI afterburner it's a great uh, utility for overclocking any graphic card by the way and uh, as you can see here i can overclock uh, uh, my co uh, pretty uh, much over 200 also uh, because uh, gtx 70 i tend to be a great overclocker but for the safest point of sight i go with this kind of settings which is pretty much damn good for me uh, i get over 13 to 15 percent improvement in games uh, that is quite a lot it, because it's a free performance guys you all know that overclocking uh, will uh, kind of what your warranty uh, can increase some temperature of your graphic card but for, but for me uh, if you say the positives are more uh, as compared to the negatives so I go with that and uh, you can you can you can say uh, it's kind of disclaimer for uh, from my side that's uh, i'm not responsible for anything if you happen uh, to your card so it's uh, but generally i have to say uh, if you go for the safest point of sight it, it doesn't happen i, I never touch uh, core voltage until uh, it shows me artifact so you also uh, try to do so if you are overclocking your card and uh, uh, also it doesn't mess around with the power limit because it's max as, as it goes and uh, in the temperature limit i also never touch this i only uh, go with core clock and the memory clock and the fan speed i you also know that uh, my graphic card is a single cooler design from asus so uh, for the safest of temperature i go uh, with the 70 uh, percent of fan uh, because it's try to uh, go somewhere around 60 65 degrees celsius uh, under load so but uh, the thing is i'm quite satisfied with this uh, overclocking uh, i also refer uh, my other overclocking uh, tutorials from the internet also what other people do with their uh, o, uh, gtx 750 ti i also take the reference uh, so i also advise you all that if you want to overclock uh, say for example a gtx 6 960 or 970 or 980 ti or something like that these are great cloud for overclocking but you can go uh, in the net for uh, taking some reference what kind of overclocking that people uh, go with that card so you can get a rough picture of it and you can uh, uh, go for that and uh, for the golden rule of overclocking uh, what i usually uh, seen that go for small increments like uh, on the core go for 20 not more than 20 for me uh, as you ask, as you ask me uh, going for uh, more than 50 or 100 uh, can give you artifacts uh, likewise you can see on my screen I overclock my car to plus 200 if you directly go uh, for 200 or uh, 100 plus increments you can get artifacts so never go uh, for that kind of major increments go uh, small after small increments like 20 10 30 uh, so for doing like so i get uh, plus 200 on the core and uh, then i go with the memory clock for uh, 100 uh, you can go here uh, plus 50 or 100 or plus uh, 110 or something like that uh, but for the safer side plus 50 and 100 I go with 50 and uh, I can still overclock uh, around uh, plus 400 if you if I want so these are uh, I have to say by safe overclocking 
and tutorial for, for you guys and uh, if you can uh, see uh, if you consider the performance I get uh, as I already said uh, 12 to 13 percent improvement in all over uh, the 2D and 3D application including games as well and uh, on the 3D Mark 11 aspect uh, if I uh, tell you the scores like on the graphic scores only if you consider uh, previously I get uh, 5100 something like that on a graphic scores and after overclocking GTX 750 Ti uh, I get 6200 uh, that is a great bump uh, in the scores uh, the, and the, in the games uh, in crisis 3 you get 5 frame per second more uh, it means a lot for me because it's a free performance and uh, because of only safe overclocking you can uh, get these performance I won't go for more but uh, for the safe temperatures and uh, stability I go with this uh, kind of overclocking guide uh, which really suits my card and uh, for the Tomb Raider I get the maximum that is 10 frame per second 4 I'm talking about the average uh, previously at 1080p high settings I got uh, 66 frame per second uh, for my graphic card and after overclocking it's been uh, like 78 something and it's been 12 frames per second more and that's a great uh, overclocking for that game at least so that's it guys for the overclocking tutorial for my GTX 750 Ti I hope you all like it and do subscribe my channel for more and uh, yeah uh, what I can say many more to come and thanks for watching bye for now that is Vijay signing off